Hello, my name is Art Lazukin. I'm a U.S. Marine and a combat wounded veteran. Today I want to talk to you about how critical it is for our young combat veterans to ask for our support. Excuse me. The sooner they realize that asking for help is a sign of strength and not an inability to cope, the better teams like Vets360 can step in and help. The challenge is that, hey! See, this is part of the problem. Many of our veterans have not sustained physical injury like me, but they carry with them no less painful scars of war and they are no less worthy of our support and guidance. These unseen wounds of war are too often ignored when our young veterans struggle to integrate back into civilian life. We keep hearing how many veterans take their own lives each and every day, but that number doesn't account for overdoses, single car or bike accidents, criminal acts, and much more. So the question is this, is a young veteran more likely to take their own life if they are gainfully employed, have money in their bank, and a support network, or if they are homeless, penniless, isolated, and self-medicated? Society spends billions on cure options like substance abuse programs, veterans courts, and homeless shelters, but pennies on educating these young men and women about what they will face when they are no longer wearing our country's uniform. Why can't we take the time to educate them about civilian life before they get discharged? We need to provide them with a meaningful period of support that will help them overcome the challenges they will face. At Vets360, our mission is to engage our young combat veterans into a process of support and education as soon as possible after separation. If we engage them early, we can reduce the levels of despondency and sense of futility that many of them feel returning to civilian life. If we can engage them, we can educate them. If we educate them, we can get them into a meaningful employment or a valid education. And most importantly, if we engage them, we can help them heal the damaging effects of combat trauma. Today's generation of combat veterans are a formidable bunch, but they are also the most underserved, at risk, and vulnerable of all veteran demographics. They don't ask for much, but when they do, it's our responsibility to deliver and prepare them for the future, and simply put, to make sure they move forward with confidence and the full understanding of what lies ahead. Society and the media spend a lot of time focused on veterans like me who carry the physical wounds of war, but there are many, many more veterans who carry the unseen wounds of war. So if you're a recently separated combat vet, male or female, reach out. If you know someone who is, talk to them about reaching out. If not to Vets360, then to somebody that offers a guiding hand. Once you ask for support, you will feel much stronger for it. Thank you for your time. I will toe the line with you any day.